here as well for a while. And um, I wash dishes too. But one thing I've learned is that you need to learn Dutch really well. So I tried my hardest while I was doing my naturalization course, and it wasn't easy. It was really hard. Apart from the language, it's really important to think, how can I make progress? How can I create opportunities for myself? Or make use of the opportunities there are in Holland? And there are opportunities, lots of them. So I can develop myself further. A lot of people try to find work through friends or family. People who already know Holland can sometimes be of help. Another way of finding work is to look at the advertisements every day. If you're looking for work, you'll have to register at the CWI, at Centrum for Werk and Inkomen, the Employment and Income Center. There's one in every district for anyone looking for work. They have computers with vacancies from the entire area, but you are supposed to actively seek work yourself. There are employment agencies, for instance, where you can get temporary work. Temporary work lasts for a shorter period. It may be a few weeks or a few months. But a temporary job can be a good step towards getting a permanent job later. Because if you show what you can do, there's a chance that your temporary employer will want to keep you on. Or you can show another employer that you have experience. It is more difficult for migrants to find work than for Dutch people. There are often rules at work which are not written down anywhere, and most Dutch people will know them. But migrants often won't. For example, it's important to turn up exactly on time for a job interview. And it's also important that you look smart, and you should introduce yourself as soon as you come in. You should look people in the eye. If you don't do that, people think you're not interested. And making phone calls during a job interview is just asking for trouble. Actually, migrants have to perform better if they want to break through prejudices and win an employer's trust. There is a good chance that your degree or diploma will be worth less in the Netherlands than in your country. To find out what you can do with your qualifications, have them assessed here at the CWI. I've got a copy here of a diploma from a Spanish secretarial college. How do I find out what I can do with it in Holland? We take the diploma and send it to another organization. They can translate it into Dutch and assess its value. In other words, they compare the course with the Dutch course. And how did you find work here? I started here three years ago as an apprentice. And after my course, I was given a job as an advisor. So I've been working here since then, for about two years. You can also start your own business. In practice, this often turns out to be trickier than most people think. But fortunately, there are people who have proven that you can be very successful, like Rachma El Muden. Rachma, hi. You've got your own business. You've got a cleaning business employing more than 300 people. How did you manage to be so successful? Um, through hard work, that's the first thing I think. And also by keeping my eyes on the goal I'd set myself. I really wanted to achieve something in this foreign country, I think. And how did you do it? Well, it was important, of course, to get the training. If I hadn't trained in the first 14 years, then I don't think things would have gone so well for me, as with many others. And I'd probably still be cleaning myself. 
You started off as a cleaner, right? Yep, I cleaned from 1970 until 1980. And what happened then? Well, I went to college and did a course in the Dutch language. And from there a course in cleaning and sanitation. And that's how I got to the point when I eventually thought, you know, I'm going to start up for myself. Hey, I thought, A, I know more about this business than most people anyway. And B, I know a lot about foreigners too. I read and write the same language as these people. So if I treat them better too and give them a chance, it'll be a big success. What do you think is the most important thing people need to be successful in Holland? The language? The language. I think language is very important anyway. If you look at all the people who have been successful here, whether they've got their own business or an important job or something else, they all speak the language. I think when a woman is able to trust her surroundings a bit, she's more mobile and that gives her confidence. And if she feels self-confident, she only gains more respect. When a woman is emancipated, everybody gains by it. Her family, her husband, and society. Everybody gains by it. Everyone has to pay tax on the salary one earns from one's work. With these taxes, social benefits can be paid out to people who are unemployed. For instance, if they're seriously ill. As someone coming to either form a family or to be reunited with family, you're not entitled to benefits. Your partner will have to provide your income. In the Netherlands, everyone is rich. At least that's what you often hear from people who don't live in the Netherlands. But not everyone in Holland is rich, by a long way. Even when people live in big houses, they can have major money problems. A lot of families have financial problems. It may seem that people earn a lot of money here, but it costs costs a lot to support yourself here. Watch this. Suppose this is your monthly income. You can immediately subtract the rent for your accommodation, the bill for gas, electricity and light, the telephone bill, taxes for water, refuse collection and your house, all the insurance. Holland is a country where people have to be insured for almost everything. The television connection, membership fees for the sports club, the library, newspapers, magazines, travel by bus or by train, food every day, clothes. And of course, you'll probably need to buy something for the house, have to pay for something extra you hadn't expected. You need to work out exactly what you spend each month for everything. Because Holland is expensive. And everything costs money. Good luck! If you want to come to Holland, you'll need to apply for an MVV or authorization for temporary stay at the Dutch Embassy or Dutch Consulate in your own country. To get this MVV, your partner in Holland has to be at least 21 years of age and earn 120% of the net minimum income. Your partner also has to fill in all the papers for the Immigration and Naturalization Service. And you'll first have to pass the external naturalization examination. This exam has two parts. First, an exam in which you have to answer questions about Dutch society. And then, an oral exam on your spoken Dutch language. You can prepare for this by starting to learn some Dutch. By watching Dutch videos, for instance, or by reading books you can get your partner to send you from Holland. Here's two dictionaries for two-way translation. It's perhaps a bit early to try reading a novel yet. This is a good one, a guide to Amsterdam. The Dutch constitution is of course useful to find out what you're allowed or not allowed to do in the Netherlands. Children's books are always a good idea, and reading comic strips can also improve your Dutch. Here, this is my favorite children's book, Kikker. This one's about the history of Holland, which of course is also really interesting. And as the exam takes place by phone, you can practice on the phone with your partner.
fun. Fun? Yeah. Yeah. Significa em português eu te amo.